Question, has there ever been like a really big moment in your life where you felt like severely burnt out? No, it's just momentarily little, you know, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? I feel like I share too much. I was always a private person and now I'm sharing so much of my life. But again, the effect that that has on people and if I'm able to help people and influence people the right way, I feel like it's, that's my calling in life. I got to do it. What the fuck am I complaining about? Yeah. And do you think the podcasting, obviously now you're, you're going to have two, the off the meds is with Tana, right? No, that's not real. That's not real? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about? It is Bro, real. no. We, why is that Whittick just made a graphic for it? it no, that's what he wants to call it. It is. He talked it, about it on Jeff FM. Yeah. It, it's and, a and real, Tana, did talk, Tana no, talked about doing a podcast with you. Wait, you I, have a title it's, for it's, it? It's and a new thing me? for me. Uh, yeah, it's called off the meds. How come you didn't tell me? Because we're both on and off meds all the time, you know? I'm getting surgeries. I'm taking meds. I'm you said we were going to have a, a reoccurring show. We can, but wow. I think I this, thought we see, were going to have a reoccurring Talk show. about getting burnt out. This is a new thing. I'm doing a podcast with a woman. It's a different type of energy. We talk about different You're topics. getting burnt down two episodes. She gets things out of me. She might never show up again. You Dude, know, if I'm that honestly shocked because I try to get her for six fucking months to sit here for two hours. If you got a podcast with her, I'm really impressed. Dude. I know. I know. You are fucking. I'd be impressed too. If she's it, sober. If it works out. She she's sober, sober right now. now. It's changed everything. Really? And yeah, I she's think super, she's super locked in right now. Yeah, I think she likes that about me. Well, I remember when I got sober, I needed to hang out with other sober people to be Completely inspired sober. by them. Yeah. 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 But wow. I don't know. Oh, well, I don't know how long she's like doing that for. No, though. she's already broken it. Okay. She's in I Europe. didn't want to say, I didn't <laughs> say it. <laughs> she I didn't didn't wanna, her it. last TikTok, she was beefing with Addison Ray's dad and she was slamming down a glass of wine in it. Oh, okay. So, she, so yeah, she's back on. See, on the meds and she'll, you know, on and off the meds. On and off, yeah. So, yeah, if that works out, I'll be happy. I enjoy it. People enjoy it. So, yeah, Mike, you might have your things to say about Tana. <laughs> What's, hold on her. a sec. What the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Yeah, you talking Certain about? things don't make <laughs> shit up. Her body count or whatever. I See, I look at her as an equal. And <laughs> I know you have your Andrew Tate takes about this, but I am partnered with a woman and we are a 50 Would you 50 let her move your truck? Yeah. Would you let her move your truck? Yes or no? Now, yes no. this will get clipped out and taken out of context. <laughs> I have... I'm not getting into this shit, man. No, what the no. fuck is this? It you gotta understand, bro. I'm on an alpha brain right now, so if you come for me, I have something to tear you apart. I want to let you move my truck. Okay. I have a 50-year-old truck. It's a classic car. There's, you gotta wiggle the fucking key, give it a little gas to start I, it. I love those. Yeah, Bradley could thanks, drive me it. too. I could drive it. Yeah, I would let you drive it. Thank you. But you don't think with enough instruction but you could get to it. LA this? influencer drives a Range Rover. Yeah, it's no, mad at too. No, this car's it. sexy. I just got it mad. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the only things I ever bought, dude. Yeah. That in the house. That's it. And the board ape. Oh, and the board ape. Yeah. That's it. Is that what it's like being Logan Paul's friend? <laughs> yeah. It's really nice, It's, been quite, it's been quite nice. That's yeah, nice. But yeah. uh, burnout, I honestly, you brought up relationships. Yeah. If you put me in a relationship, I feel burnout immediately. That shit I, whoa, 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 I but suck not, at. But not immediately. Immediately, bro. I, I, I have to go. I, we've talked about this all the time. Every time I come on the show, I have not been to therapy. I need intimacy therapy terribly because, bro, I cannot like when I start to feel the idea of being with someone like for a long period of time. And maybe it may, people say like, "Oh, you just haven't found the right girl." Maybe that's true. And maybe if I do find the right girl, then then it'll be different. But like, dude, I get I get like. But is it the I idea? I start to feel like really like su I'm suffocating. Is it the idea that like? it's that one girl or you have to like what can problems can it's come around even that it's just i think i just need to like talk to someone about it it's just like it's be, I, I think part of it is the reason i don't feel burnout for what i do because dude i'm like three you're in control of it i'm in, i'm like remember we talked about the yes, steering wheel exactly i'm like three plus years deep now on weekly uh youtube uploads weekly impulsive uploads i wrote a book I have a million fucking business things going on at all times. Yeah. And I never feel burnout in my career stuff ever. Never once, bro. I haven't missed an episode. In, bro. I've lost friends. I've gotten COVID. I always get my shit out, bro. Yeah. I'm uber consistent on all, on all of the fucking platforms. Right. And I never feel burnout. I love doing that shit. And every time I like start to talk to a girl or like, you know, it, it, it's like 2 PM and they're like hanging around the house like and, and that's why maybe i just haven't found the right girl because maybe i need a girl who's equally as hungry as i am yeah but like i start to feel like shit dude now i gotta fucking 
figure out where we're eating tonight and this and that, but all I want to do is fucking work, bro. All I want to yeah. do is create and come up with the next idea and edit and business idea and burgers and this and that. And it just feels like it gets in the way. And But but I sometimes feel like I'm making a mistake because I'm getting old and I don't have a partner. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now, where does that end? That's the question. That is a good question. I make the excuse a lot that, and I don't, I don't, I don't know if it's an excuse or if it's the truth. I'll say that I can't be in a relationship right now because I'm too focused on work, but when does that end? When am I going to have it dialed in to where I don't... Because we're creative. I think we're all in the same position. Yeah, yeah, as yeah, a creative, you, you want to use your creative energy, your creative times of the day to either edit or think of ideas. And the way I am, I put a lot of that energy into the other person when I'm in a relationship. Yeah. And I feel like one day I'll get to a point where, I don't know, I'll have my life set up like Mike, you just bought a house. Did you feel like the house was going to be the step that okay, yes. now I can get in a relationship because yep. I have my life figured out? But yep. now you're more lost than ever. Well, now you we're also <laughs> we're all in the Wait same boat. Wait a second, how did, no, I don't think that's I mean, you true. Just I think said I was it. more lost than I was smoking crack in my grandfather's house. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm no, saying? No, but you, I'm going off of what you just said. Like you can't figure I out. You need to talk am. to a therapist and stuff like that. I feel lost, but also I, I, I was in a bad accident two years ago, so I'm still figuring out my entire life. I've shot out David Dobrik. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, 